All right, guys. So a few videos ago, I posted this full before tour of my husband's office slash Poppy's bed corner. I'll link that video down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. It is a small space, so right now it feels a little cluttered behind this desk. So Poppy's space had this little book nook, which is about to be transformed right now. So I caught just about every single corner in this room, the nook, the wall trimmings around the window, down the wall, and even as far as the DIY snack cabinet, but we're not even there yet, so we'll come back to that later. Inside of these like really need to be cleaned out. The previous owner had several dogs and we find here literally everywhere in any space of this house. I guess it's not too much of a surprise with my paint choices at this point because yes, we are going with black. Just black, nothing special, just simple black. The walls are currently a sky blue color with a happy little sun painted on one of the walls, which I kind of got used to. <laughs> But I'm really happy for this makeover and I'm so ready to see it transformed into my husband's dream office. Have you guys tried this trim brush in any of your paint projects? Like, it saves so much time around the edges. So much time. So I call this the house paint because it was used literally in all the rooms downstairs, the living room, dining room, and the kitchen. And to save money on paint, we're just going to go ahead and use it in this room as well. It's also Bear's Marquee, which is a one and done coat, but because the walls were blue, it was giving off this like grayish tone and it was very visible. And you guys know I like gray but that was just not the goal in this room. So I did have to go over it and do a whole second coat over the entire room. Because the room is still cluttered, I just made sure that I just had enough space to actually have access to painting the walls, which required cleaning up what used to be my husband's corner, which as you guys could see is very, um, it's a mess. I don't know about you guys, but I just happen to be a very messy painter. And if it doesn't end up on the floor, then trust me, there will be some form of paint somewhere, somewhere in my hair. And if you guys pay close attention in this video, it's, it's in there. It is in there.
So this is what the room is looking like. I put a plant in here just for a little inspiration um, to keep me going. And I left the trim around the windows, the wooden color, because he really liked that. He didn't want it painted, as well as the closet doors. Those are the same color as the window, the same brown. But yeah, this is it. I was gonna paint the roof black. One of you guys suggested black, and my husband and I really liked the idea. But I went to Home Depot. She didn't really suggest painting it, just because, what, what word did she use? Porous, yeah. She said it could be very porous. So. Um, I don't know yet, because I really don't like seeing the stains up there. Um, I did do a, I'm like all over the place, but I did do a test paint, paint section right here. I did white, it seems fine, but I don't know. But are these the same thing? I don't know. But this seems fine. I really wanted to paint, spray paint it. I just don't know. But yeah. <laughs> so I get so distracted, as I was saying. I really like how this turned out as well. But yeah, this is it. Um, yeah. All right, so now it's actually time to go outside and get some DIY done. Yeah, don't worry. I'm here, don't worry. I'm just right here, don't worry. I'm, I'm right here, just don't worry. So this is actually one of the top cabinets that was removed during our kitchen makeover and now I finally get to repurpose it and I'm so excited because I actually thought we were going to sell it or just throw it out but I finally get to use it. I kept all the cabinet hardwares because I honestly do like the look of them, they just need a bit of cleaning. So I sanded down everything. So these are what the doors look like now. Um, this is the color before. It's really hard to get in here with the sander, so I'm gonna have to do that part by hand. Um, I really just wanted like the top layer off, so that's why it's not like consistent. So yeah, all sides are done. So I'm gonna sand in between these and then clean them off, and then I'll be back on to the spray paint. So these are the original thing that was on the cabinets. Like right when we moved in, we just took it down. We didn't do anything else to it. This is so pretty. Okay. So these are good. I really love that she did this. It is making my life so easy. Probably the easiest thing I've done all this. Alright, so back to this. I'm gonna go do what I need to and then start spray painting. So I am gonna close up the original holes just because I want it to be centered. So, so this is what I'm gonna use to fill in the holes. And then I'm going to drill new holes right here.
so this is one of those scenarios where you were expecting something and the outcome is like completely different okay so the goal was to use a spray gun to get the job done faster and neater but the way this played out i just i should have just used a roller and called it a day honestly So I got these from Home Depot. These are gonna be the leg. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint these white as well. I came back inside. <laughs> I had this in the garage, but today was very, today was pretty uh, cold. So, oops, this is what it looks like right now. I found these. In the basement, I remember I had a sage, sage? I don't know what it's called, but these were the legs and I did keep them. So I'm going to put them on here. I think I'm going to leave them that color just to give that a little contrast. Here are the doors. I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but it, it looks a little yellow. Um, and I don't like the finish on it from the spray paint. I... Um, I don't think I used it very well. So I'm gonna do a quick second coat with the regular roller. Same for this. And then these I'm gonna put on. This is a pretty thin board. So to attach these, I'm honestly just gonna use glue um, instead of screws. So I am going to use this. My husband's literally the only one up here and Poppy comes up here to sleep. So I'm just gonna trust the idea for now. And just, that's, this sounds really dangerous. Hmm. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna test it out. So I'm gonna glue them on there. So apparently I was supposed to wet it first, but we'll see how it goes. I don't know if it's the dresser or the leg or the floor, but this one is completely unleveled. So I just stuck something under it and it's pretty balanced right now, but this is how it's looking. It says wait one to two hours, so we're gonna do that. I am gonna go ahead and put the doors back in just to see how it look <laughs> because I'm being a little impatient.
Okay, so here's what it's looking like. Uh, that's not the plant I'm going to use, but the plant looks literally pretty similar, but it's, it's a darker plant. And I just want to see how the globe looks on there. I don't know if I want it here or over there yet, but I think I like it. And these are books that I got from the library. There's a free section and literally all the books have like black covers. So I thought it was perfect. I don't like the red. Okay, so I'm just gonna see how it looks up here for now. Here is what it's looking like. Let me know if you guys like the globe on here and, or let's see what it looks like over here. I feel like it needs something else over here. I don't know. The desk is going to be like right here, but the globe looks so lonely. And this is what it looks like without the globe. It looks a little, I don't know. I, I was going to say it looks a little dull, but that's, my husband likes simplicity. So, so he might like this without the globe actually, because he's the one that suggested it over there, even though I like it over here, but let me know what you guys think. This is it. I think I like it. I know I didn't put any handles. I did close up the holes. Where are the holes? I did close up the holes that were originally there. I like how it looks without the handle. I did buy a couple of handle options, but I, I didn't like them, so I had chose not to use them. But yeah, and just in case you're wondering what the rest of the room looks like, it's still a hot mess, but in the next video, we're gonna take care of that and set everything up. I have a DIY chalkboard that's gonna go here. And, yep. So this is what everything's looking like. I still have the books on the original shelf because he orders them based off like math or coding or something along those lines. So I don't wanna touch it just yet. And then we're gonna take apart this desk. Don't know what we're doing with it, but gotta get it out of the room and it can't get out in its full self. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and ooh, oh my god, it's time to take out my hair. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. And please go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss the final office makeover. Let me know what you guys think of my uh, little DIY cabinet pantry, cabinet snack thingy. All right, I'll see you guys.